के बच्चे This is no ordinary child. This unfortunate child was born with a complex cyanotic congenital heart disease known as transposition of great arteries. The unlucky kids born with such a problem usually do not survive beyond first few weeks of their lives. Very few lucky ones live on to see their first birthday. When doctors told the parents of this child that this child is not going to live long and the only treatment possible is a complex surgery which is available only in Delhi the children's parents were totally disheartened but then somebody told them that nowadays this kind of surgery is being done routinely in Jaipur also at Narayan Hridayalaya hospital when the child was brought to Narayan Hridayalaya hospital initially the child was in a critical state and had to undergo a small procedure to stabilize the child in middle of night but once stabilized from there on and the expert team at narayan hridayal hospital got this child to be totally cured of this disease now the child has been discharged and is living comfortably like any other ordinary child we are here to talk about uh, the treatment of a complex heart problem called transposition of great arteries uh we are here to talk about uh, what is the special uh, factor that uh, decides outcome in these operations and what are those special uh, critical uh, points that need to be considered when treating uh, children with such uh, difficult heart disease one of the fundamental things are that these children are diagnosed very very early uh, after they being born and they need uh, treatment almost immediately after the the fundamental problem that lies with these children is that the 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 two tubes that come out of the heart one of them carrying bright blood called the aorta and the other the pulmonary artery carrying dark blood to the lungs are switched they have moved out of their positions and so the treatment involves getting these two arteries switched once again we have to do that surgically and it also involves transferring the coronary arteries the very fine blood vessels which are almost the size of a lead in a lead pencil they need to be shifted uh, back and forth to this makes this a very very uh, complex procedure uh, done in children normally who are around 2 and 1/2 to 3 maybe 4 kilos of weight it needs to be done within the first 2 to 3 weeks of life and uh, it needs uh, tremendous cooperation as far as uh, treating surgeons anesthesiologists pediatricians and neonatal intensivists including pediatric cardiologists so the success of these operations is probably the result of a combination of factors other than critical decision making but a complex interplay of various teams who are supposed to have cross functional excellence uh, narendra dale is one such institute which has done this time and time again this is the fourth time we have successfully done a baby with this problem over the last 9 months that we have been doing uh, many of these complex operations uh, i would like to now uh, take you uh, to visit the baby uh, to be able to give you some more idea this child was operated on day 4 of life and now he is day 17 he is ready to be discharged from the hospital hail and hearty so we will possibly be able to visit the mother speak to her about her experience and then meet couple of the specialists who will probably give you more insight into how these uh, children are taken care of thank you no chaudhri hum gram mein aaj mere the hain email message anita chaudhri hamare bachche ki delivery ek tarikh ko puri nursing home mahasaur mein hui thi phir hum इसको भी प्रॉब्लम थी ऑक्सीजन नहीं मिलती हार्ट की प्रॉब्लम थी नीला बना रहा था इसके तो पूर्वी हॉस्पिटल उन्होंने सा के हॉस्पिटल में जाने मानसरोवर वहाँ पर जाने के बाद दो घंटों के अंदर डॉक्टरों ने देख इसको दे के हार्ट में ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लम बताई तो उन्होंने नारायण हृदय हॉस्पिटल का नाम लिया उन्होंने भाई वहाँ पर इस चीज़ का ऑपरेशन होता है वो विशेष अभी से हार्ट के ऑपरेशन के लिए जाने जाते हैं तो हमने रात को ग्यारह बजे यहाँ पर रेफर किया फिर यहाँ पे आने के बाद में हमने अन्ना मेगा मैडम ने बच्चे को देखा देख के फिर ट्विटर में चालू की प्रारंभ से ब्लून से ऑपरेशन किया उससे फिर रात को तीन चार बजे तक इस थोड़ा तो सही हुआ ये फिर तीन चार दिन तक इसको हॉस्पिटल में रखे फिर ऑपरेशन किया हार्ट का तो अब दस दिन तक ये आई में था उसके बाद इन्होंने दो दिन पहले हमने चा दिया अभी पहले स्वस्थ बच्चे जैसे बिल्कुल सही है अब हम छुट्टी का इंतजार कर रहे हैं
बच्चे के लिए नीला था वो बिल्कुल सही है नीला पड़ नहीं है इससे ऑपरेशन से और हमें अच्छा हॉस्पिटल लगा बहुत बड़े एज में उपचार भी अच्छा दिस बेबी केम टू एस एट एज ऑफ टू डेज द बेबी वॉज इन रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस वेर ई वॉज वेरी सिक विथ वेरी हाई हार्ट रेट एंड वेरी हाई रेस्पिरेटरी रेट एंड सैचुरेशन ऑफ जस्ट थर्टी परसेंट दैट इज द ऑक्सीजन लेवल ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ दिस बेबी वॉज जस्ट थर्टी परसेंट एज कम्पेयर टू दी हंड्रेड परसेंट इन नॉर्मल ह्यूमन बींग्स एंड वेन वी डिट द इको कैटेग्राफी देन वी फाउंड दैट बेबी हैड अ कंजेनाइटल हार्ट डिजीज and it was a complex congenital heart disease in which there was interchange of the great vessels arising from the heart uh, the pulmonary artery and the aorta they have interchanged their places and that's why the hemodynamics of this baby was very fragile usually in such cases the, uh, the heart have uh, holes uh, so as to allow mixing of blood and so that the baby can survive but in this baby there was um, hardly any level of mixing there was hardly any hole Uh, and uh, so we decided in the emergency that we had to do a procedure we had to enlarge this hole so that the baby can survive and later on we can do some sort of corrective surgery so we counseled the patient uh, attendant the parents and discussed the risks and everything and uh, took the baby immediately in the night and uh, in this procedure we approached through the vein in the leg and went with the wire into the heart on which the balloon was uh, loaded and uh, then with the help of this balloon without doing surgery we opened up the hole and made it big, bigger and uh, after this procedure the baby's condition improved uh, drastically the saturation became around 70 to 80% heart rate and respiratory rate came down towards uh, uh, near normal and uh, over the next two days we stabilized the baby further by giving nutrition and uh, other parameters of uh, small baby taking care of the other parameters of a neonate and then uh, we handed over the baby to the surgeons for the corrective surgery we did this procedure in emergency because this if uh, the baby because the survival of this baby was dependent on increasing this size of the hole and mixing and if we would have delayed and uh, not done in the night itself then that uh, organ damage would have been massive and then even if the surgery would have been done later it would have been of no use to the baby or the parents because there would have been permanent damage of brain kidney and other vital organs mm -hmm. so doing it in the emergency and doing it as early as possible was our motive which we achieved as a neonatologist i have seen this kid in the post operative period and there are three most important points as a view of neonatologist first is that nutrition second is that control of infection and third is the fluid balance for the nutrition we have given the parental nutrition that is the nutrition other than mouth in form of artificial lipid fat and protein and gradually then we we have shifted baby to the breast feed and the mesogastric feeding for the infection we have given the appropriate antibiotics and kept strict sepsis routines and for the third point we have maintained a strict fluid balance so that the heart will not get loaded and the kidneys liver intestine will survive and gradually with our strategy we have got the improvement in the kid from the day 3 to day 15 and now the kid is in the ward on exclusive breast feed and uh, devoid of all complications as a anesthetist and uh, intensive is managing these babies are really challenging because they are first week of their life and this baby at the age of 4 days we operated so their heart was weak due, due to the cardiac problem and his oxygen was also low so many of the organs of his body was affected so considering those things we gave anesthesia in the ot so we calculated our dose very small doses according to the baby's weight and his physical factors so after the operation when they come up from the bypass we need to give anotropic drugs to manage his Hard to continue to working, and we have to titrate that. To, we have to manage the drug doses according to the effect of the baby's body. So after the operation, when the patient was in ICU, the baby had problem with the kidney, so his urine was low. So we tried, we tried dialysis, and that worked well. After that dialysis over, working well, his kidney functioning normally. We extubate the baby, but once we extubate, take out the patient out of the ventilator, they have a laryngeal spasm. So for that we have to manage it very carefully because the larynx is so small. So we take care of that also. After that, when the extubated baby is doing really well, in between we take care of his uh, nutrition part and the infection part with the help of our neonatologist. And then when baby doing more better, we started feeding the baby. So baby started taking feed. That was the best part of the baby's things because mother's things the best for the baby. Baby when baby started taking feed, 
and we stopped most of the drugs, all IV drugs we stopped and gave some oral medication to the heart, for the heart and the infection control and we shifted the baby to the out and the baby was doing well. We are really happy to shift the patient home. Thank you. Good morning. Um, this child which had this unique problem of transposition of gait arteries, also known as TGA. It's a, it's a very common disease which presents in newborn with severe breathing difficulty and they are critically ill. And most of those these kids, if not being attended within few hours of the life, uh, usually don't survive. In this child, we were able to salvage this baby because this child reached us in time, had an emergency catheter-based intervention where we have in, made an opening in the heart and allowed proper mixing of the blood so the child's oxygenation has been improved and subsequently the child was stable enough to go for the major open heart surgery which, uh, which is also known as arterial switch operation and the defect where the two arteries are switched that is they are in the wrong place are being corrected to the normal place and we have got a, such a nice outcome. Okay, but